Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone, my name is Ned, welcome to the first episode of our Twitch bot development tutorial series. Today we're going to be using TMIJS to be developing a bot that you can use on your channel or you can set up as a public bot even. Um, I know I am recording on my MacBook, I am no, I'm sorry. Uh, my PC is still not working, so we're going to be recording on this for the foreseeable future. I should be having some parts shipped to me pretty soon. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this. Um, the first thing you want to do is, of course, set up your project. I've gone ahead and created a folder. I've gone ahead and created app.js. I've done the npm init, and I've done, and I can actually show you here real quick. To get started, just go ahead and do this to get the package on your project. So. Now that that is all out of the way, we can go ahead and go here and we'll go to the configuration tab of the docs um, and they'll have an example for us and kind of a description of what everything is doing. So let's go ahead and copy this right here. This is going to be for Node.js. So we want to copy that and paste it here. I'm going to change a couple things. I'm just going to change var to const. Um, it's just better to use. Um, if you have any questions about it, be sure to ping Seb on the server. All right, so let's go ahead and change that. And then we can kind of look through these um, options, debug, true, connection, reconnect, true. It's just kind of some default settings that you want to have. I've gone ahead and created an account. Um, I suggest using a separate account from your personal one if you do have one, just because if you do mess up something, you can actually get, like if you abuse the API, you can get banned. So it's not a good idea to use your personal account. So I've gone ahead and created TSC tutorial and then for the password, or is that what it says? Password, yeah. So this is going to be, um, you'll need an, a generated password. So it'll be, okay, so next you'll need a OAuth password and there's a generator link down below for that. This is going to be twitchapps.com slash TMI. So I've gone ahead and generated one here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it here. Don't try to use this because it will be reset. Um, yeah, so there is that. I think I just copied it on accident. So let's try that again. Uh, failing with this real quick. All right, so now that that is done, go ahead and save that. Uh, we're going to change the channel to TSC Tutorial. And that is that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the docs real quick and we can see what kind of is all going on here. And first I do want to say this link will be down below as well. This kind of explains the IRC, the Twitch IRC stuff. So if you want to read that, go ahead. So now we want to take a look at events because that's the main thing we're going to be messing with on this. Um, so the first thing we want to look at is chat. So here's an example right off the back and we can go ahead and copy and paste this. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, I'm going to set it up as an arrow function. So. Now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead. Well, we'll just go ahead and change it. All right. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and change this to user just because user state doesn't really sound all that good to me. Um, I'll delete the comments because we don't really need those. We know what that does. If self um, and self is just a bot. Um, if self return because you don't want to listen to your own messages or the bots messages rather. Um, so, yeah, now that that is done, let's go ahead and start messing with it. So if. All right, so if message, well, let's go ahead and console log some stuff. So console.log message. And then we'll do plus user just to look at it. And that'll be a whole object, so that's going to look a little weird, but we're going to go ahead and try it. So node uh, app.js. And it'll connect. You'll see all that. It joined the server, so let's go ahead and go over here. I have the chat open. Hi. So it says hi and then object. So let's see if we can actually output the object itself. Hi, there it is. All right. So as we can see, there's a lot of information in there. Color null because I've picked one. Display name, emotes, ID, mod, false, room ID, subscriber false, all that good stuff. 
And yeah, so let's go ahead and start playing with this. So let's do if message is equal to uh, say hi. Uh, and then we can actually look back at the docs. We can do events or actually functions, I believe. No. Commands. There it is. Okay. Commands. So action is the one we're looking for. So if it's we want to go ahead and do basically what this is doing, but we'll go ahead and type it out. So client dot action. And then we're gonna do the channel here. So TSC tutorial. We'll do hi there. Let's go ahead and restart this bot and see if it works. We'll do exclamation point hi. And it said hi there. So that's basically all we're going to go through today. Um, you can go ahead and read through this, but I promise I'll go through a lot. This is more so going to be a mini series because it's not as expansive, I believe, as a Discord bot can be. So I'm going to kind of just keep it probably either 10 or 15 episodes and then it'll be over. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. If you have any comments or concerns or anything, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below. And as always, go ahead and check out our Discord server for any help. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.